Hey makers, this is Dhruvin and in this episode, I'm going to talk about the user defined function in the Canvas application. So without further delay, let's get started. First of all, let me explain you what is user defined function. So many times in the Canvas application, we have a requirement where we need to use the formula at the multiple places. So right now in the Power Apps, there is no such way where we can write our own function and we can reuse that at multiple places. Now, with this user-defined function implementation, you can reuse your formula at the multiple places. Now, let's explore this user-defined function practically with some use cases and examples. So, here I am on my machine and here you can see that I have created one canvas application over here. Now, to use the user-defined function, first of all, click on the setting here and go to the update section and go to the preview option and search for user-defined function. As soon as you search for that, you will be able to see this option. Make sure it is turned on from here. And let's click on close. As soon as you do that activity, go to the app and make sure that from the property pen, the formula option is available for you. This is the place where you can define all your user defined functions. Now, let's get started and talk about how we can get started with that. So, first use case I have here is let's say, I want to sometimes format my currency. So let's say user is entering any currency value over here. And as soon as they enter that particular value in the label over here, I want to format it with dollar and then whatever your currency value will be there. Okay. So now how can I define the user defined function for that? Okay. So to start with that, let's go to the app menu and go to the formulas option. Let's expand that over here. Now. Let's say here I want to format my currency. So I am creating a user defined function called format currency. So you can create the function with any name. So I am defining here format currency. In the bracket, you need to define its parameter. So right now I am defining the parameter as amount. So let me define that as a amount. And then colon, what kind of data type you want there. So number will be, it will be your number data type. So I am just providing here like number. Okay, and what would be the return output that is something you, which you need to supply over here. So in output, I want to provide as a text output. Okay, and then you need to define your formula. So here I'm defining my formula as, okay, I want to format my currency. So for that, I will use text expression in the Power Apps. And what I'll do here is I'll supply my number over here. So amount is the number which I'm passing over here. And that's something I want to format over here with respect to dollar. So I'm using double uh, quote like this and I'll simply use here like dollar and then hash this kind of format. Okay. So whatever value user will enter, I just want to separate it by comma along with this kind of stuff. Okay. And once you are done with your formula, write a semicolon to end your user defined formula. So final formula, like if I format it, this is how it looks like. First, you need to provide any name of your uh, formula. Inside that, you need to supply the parameter. Okay, what would be your return data type? That is something you need to provide here. And then whatever your power of expression, you need to supply that. Now, the thing is that you can simply use this formula anywhere. So now let's say this is my label control and on label, I want to call that formula. So I will simply start typing the same formula which I have defined here, format currency. And inside that, I need to provide amount as value. And amount is coming from this text box. So let's see what's the ID for this text box. So the ID is text input canvas one. So I'll simply supply that over here. Text input canvas one dot value. And let's finish the bracket. And let's see what it come up with. Now let me just enter the value over here. Like 5000. Okay. As soon as I enter that, you can see that it just formatted this like this. Way. Okay. Let's say if I enter here like 10,000, it will just format it like this one, right? Isn't it cool? So we just define the formula over here on the formula section and we are just calling that formula over here. Okay. So this is one example. Okay. Now let's say I want to do another formula. So I will write another formula over here. Here I just wanted to check that, okay, whatever email user will enter, whether it is valid or not. Okay, so we know that uh, in Power Apps, we have the regular expression with ease match formula to validate the email or any kind of regular expression. So we will create our formula in that fashion. So let's go to the formula option over here and let's create one more 
formula. So this time I'm creating a formula called validate email. And again, in the parameter, I will supply email. Okay. And it's the data type will be text. So I will use text. Okay. And written type, I want to have like a Boolean because I just wanted to make sure that whether it's a um, true or false. Okay. And over here, after that, you can define your formula. So here I will use a formula is match. Okay. And in that, I will supply some sort of regular expression. So I'm just providing is match formula. And in is match, first parameter is your email. That's what you need to supply. And second parameter is you need to provide your regular expression. So let me provide the email validation regular expression over here. So I'm just providing this kind of string. And let me finish the bracket over here. And uh, after that, do the semicolon and that will return you the Boolean value. Let's format the code and that is how it looks like. So validate email inside that your email as a, a parameter and what would be its written type and then complete formula. Okay. Now the thing is that I need to simply use it over here. Okay. So here I have label and on that I want to call that formula. So I will use validate email and inside validate email I will supply this text box text input canvas one. So let's apply that text input canvas one dot value. That's pretty much it. Right now it's blank, so it is showing false. Now let me enter some email address. As soon as you enter your email address, see, it's just showing true because uh, this is the valid email address. Let's see if I'm removing at the rate from here and place tab, you can see that immediately it converted to false, right? So this is how this type of regular expression formula as well, you can write up over here, okay? Now let's go one more level up from here. So, so far we created just one parameter formula only. Sometimes we have a situation where we need to calculate the whole interest thing. Okay. So let's say here you provide principal amount, rate of interest and tenure. And what I want is I finally need the output of the interest. I want to calculate the simple interest. So we know the mathematical formula. It is principal by rate of interest multiplied by tenure divided by 100 that is something which will give you the simple interest okay now for that we will create a formula so let's get started so what we'll do simply let's go to the formula again and let's create third formula over here so i'm creating a formula over here called calculate interest calculate interest okay and inside that i need to supply three parameters one is principal and again its data type will be number Okay, so I'm providing number, comma, I I will be having like rate of interest and its data type again will be number, comma, and last I need tenure and for that as well, I need data type as number. So I just take three over here, finish the bracket over here and then you need to do again colon and what would be the return type of this formula? So return type will be again number, okay? And then is equal to, now you can write the formula over here. So what I want here is, I will simply want to use mathematic formula. That okay, it will be like your principal multiply by rate of interest, multiply by your tenure. And I need to divide it by 100. So I'm just taking this in the bracket and then at the end divided by 100. Okay, that's what I want to do. All right, and then semicolon. Okay, let's format the code. So this is how it looks like. Okay, now let's consume this stuff over here. So here I just have this label and let me just write a formula over here that calculate interest. And inside that you need to provide principal. So principal is coming from this text box, right? TXT principal. So let's supply that TXT principal dot value, comma. Second is rate of interest. So let me copy the ID for that. TXT rate of interest dot value. And last is tenure. So copy its ID dot value. That's pretty much it. And let's finish the bracket over here. So right now everything is blank. So interest is this one. Let me add over here like 50,000. Rate of interest will be like 8.5 percentage and 10 year is something like two years. Okay. So let's see what it come up with. 
so yes total interest for 50000 at at the rate of 8.5% for 2 year will be 8500 okay so this is how you can simply reuse your formula now just imagine all the places where you can use this kind of user defined functions i mean you can just define it once and use it at multiple places now just imagine in the form there are multiple email fields or there are places where you need to validate your email or validate or calculate your interest all those places you can reutilize those formula over there right isn't it cool and amazing tell me in the comment section what other use cases you are going to use for this user defined function in your projects so that's it for today if you find this video helpful make sure you hit thumbs up subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell notification for my channel if you are looking for any paid consultation or paid training all the links are available in the description box do check it out and don't forget to follow me on my instagram and twitter because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform